hey hey welcome back to my channel today we are going to make grilled cheese in the air fryer yes grilled cheese in the air fryer guys it comes out so yummy and delicious we're just going to use a couple ingredients i will have them all in the description box below let's get started And guys, we're gonna make our grilled cheese really flavorful and yummy. Right here, I am gonna put on the secret ingredient. We're gonna put about a tablespoon of mayo. Yes, I said mayo on your bread. And right here, I'm gonna add on some of that seasoned garlic butter that I used on our air fryer steak. If you guys have not seen that video, go check it out, guys. I made an amazing steak in the air fryer. So yeah, we're gonna use what we have in the refrigerator. So this is some garlic butter, which is really, really yummy that I had left over um, from that recipe. So first, we're gonna put some mayo, and now we're gonna go ahead and layer that garlic butter butter on the bread guys this is going to give it amazing flavor believe me and trust me when I say if you like garlic cheesy bread this is the right sandwich for you so we're gonna start building the grilled cheese sandwich you can actually put whatever you like to put inside of your grilled cheese sandwich I use Parmesan cheese and some shredded cheddar jack i believe uh it will be in the description box below and i also decided in this particular sandwich to add some turkey pepperoni just to see how it would come out one thing that i did learn i put too many turkey pepperoni uh slices in there i would definitely pull some of those out and then push them more towards the middle of the sandwich because the ends will burn and you will see that um, when I show you guys the finished product I actually did make two sandwiches but there was only one on camera one with the turkey pepperoni and then I just made one with straight up cheese guys it is so yummy all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the air fryer started. I did preheat the air fryer for about five minutes. And then I am actually gonna leave this on 400 degrees. My sandwich was done in about eight minutes and I did flip it about five minutes in. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the air fryer with some olive oil. Now guys, I find whenever I cook in my air fryer, I do need to spray it. Um, just to make sure it doesn't stick. So I put two toothpicks in there to kind of hold that together. We're gonna go ahead and push that into the air fryer. This is what it looks like in about five minutes of cooking. So now I'm gonna take those toothpicks out and I'm gonna flip over my sandwich and let it cook for about three more minutes or so. Guys, if you like these type of recipes, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and watch the rest of my recipes as well. Okay, so I was having a little bit of difficulty because I was holding the camera with the other hand. But as you guys can see, that first side was really, really toasty. We're going to go ahead and get this in for another three minutes or so. Oh my goodness, guys. This was so delicious. Use the garlic butter. So good. And don't forget the secret ingredient, the mayo. Okay, so after eight minutes, this is what my air fryer can do. This sandwich was so toasty and so delicious. In just a couple minutes, guys, you're gonna see the money shot. Oh my gosh, this was so, so good. You guys need to give this a try. It's easy and it's simple. And here is the money shot. Look at that, girl. As you guys can see, my pepperoni in this one got a little bit extra crispy, but guys, it was still delicious. And if you like your pepperoni like that, go ahead and let it peek out on the outside. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. For more quick and easy videos, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Bye-bye.